Welcome back, my friends. The news today is that rents in the United States seem to be falling. Manhattan median rent falls for the first time in over two years. The median rent in Manhattan fell 2% in November to $4,000 from $4,095, according to a report from Douglas Elliman and Miller Samuel. The drop, while slight, marks the first year-over-year -year decline in median prices in 27 months, according to the report. Tight supply and strong demand pushed rents to record highs over the summer, holding steady in the early fall. Now brokers say demand is fading fast. But before we get into all of that, please hit the like button and leave us a comment below. We would love to hear from you. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos when they are released. And before we continue, a word from the sponsor of this video. Today's sponsor is ProWorldNet.com. ProWorldNet.com is a job website specifically dedicated to licensed professions. Doctors, including any type of specialty. Nurses, and that includes all grades of nurses. Lawyers, regardless of area of legal focus. Teachers and professors, from kindergarten through graduate school, as well as any kind of job that requires a government license or certification. And ProWorldNet.com also includes short-term gig-type jobs as well. So be sure to check out ProWorldNet.com if you are looking for a job or an employee. Rents continue to drop in some of America's most expensive cities. With more people working from home for the foreseeable future, many renters are seeking to live in more affordable areas that can offer them extra space. That has especially impacted San Francisco, which led the nation in rental price declines in September, according to a report from Realtor.com. The median rent for a studio apartment fell to 2 to 2.85 a month, down 31% from a year ago, the report showed. Median rents for one-bedroom apartments dropped 24% to 2.873 as a month, and two-bedroom rents fell to 3 to 9.31, down 21% from last year. Renters now have the upper hand over landlords in many of the nation's most expensive cities, said Daniel Hale, Realtor.com's chief economist. Homes in tech corridors have seen some of the biggest price drops. In addition to San Francisco, many of California's high-cost counties have seen significant drops in rent as well. One-bedrooms in San Mateo County are down 13% from last year and 12% in Santa Clara County. These counties are home to Silicon Valley's tech companies, where many workers are not expected back in the office anytime soon. Besides West Coast tech markets, rental markets like Manhattan, Boston, Seattle, and Washington, D.C. were among the other typically high-cost cities seeing the steepest drops in rent. In September, rent for one-bedrooms was down in 36 of the 100 largest U.S. counties, up from just six counties in March, according to the report. For two-bedroom apartments, rents were down in 25 of the 100 largest counties, up from 12 in March. As vacant apartments begin to stack up, many landlords are scrambling to lower rents and offer discounts in an effort to entice or keep a shrinking pool of renters, she said. As renters seek out more affordable areas where they can find more space at a lower price, said Hale. It is pushing up rents in secondary markets. Looking forward, the future of rents in many of these cities will depend on whether companies require employees to work from the office or continue to allow remote work. For example, while Manhattan rents are down, Median rent for a one-bedroom in the Bronx is up 9% from a year ago. Rents in Seattle are down, but rents for one-bedrooms in nearby Tacoma are up 8%, and one-bedroom apartments in Worcester, Massachusetts near Boston are also up 8%. This shift is likely due in part to a move toward affordability and also a response to COVID-19 as more people seek out less crowded environments, the report concluded. Renting in these spillover markets provides lower rents, more social distancing, and still allows for commuting if necessary, according to the report. This price pressure on rent in communities beyond the primary urban area may make buying a home and getting out of renting altogether even more attractive, Hale said. Manhattan rents fell for the first time in over two years, as the supply of empty apartments grew and renters held out for price cuts, according to a report released Thursday. The median rent in Manhattan fell 2% in November to $4,000 from $4,095, according to a report from Douglas Elliman and Miller Samuel. The drop, while slight, marks the first year-over-year -year decline in median prices in 27 months, according to the report. Prices hit an affordability threshold and this is the reaction, said Jonathan Miller, CEO of Miller Samuel. The decline in Manhattan rents has important implications for the housing market and overall inflation, since Manhattan is the nation's largest rental market. Renters and economists have been predicting a decline in Manhattan rents for over a year, but tight supply and strong demand pushed rents to record highs over the summer, holding steady in the early fall.
The decline has been sudden, said Kayan Sanai, the top rental broker for Douglas Elliman in New York. Sanai said many landlords are quietly offering concessions, like a month of free rent rather than cut listing prices. He had a recent one-bedroom listing in Midtown that was asking for $700 a month. After negotiating, the renter won concessions that brought the effective rent down to $3,900 a month. The number of apartments offering concessions increased to 14% in November, from 12% in October, according to Miller Samuel and Douglas Elliman. Sanai said the number of renters looking for apartments has also cooled quickly. In September, his inbox was filled with renter requests for a listing in a luxury building where units went for $7,500 a month. In October, a similar unit came on the market, and nobody was reaching out. Of course, Manhattan rents are still the highest in the country, and are still 11% higher than before the pandemic. The average rent in Manhattan is still $550 a month, despite also falling 2% over last year. Inventory also remains historically tight, just under the normal 3% level according to Miller Samuel and Douglas Elliman. Yet brokers say renters looking for apartments may see prices continue to fall into early next year. They say job cuts in the financial and tech industries in Manhattan will limit demand from young new employees in Manhattan. Falling mortgage rates will also start to make the sales market more attractive, turning more renters into buyers. For landlords, I think it could be a dark winter, then things will probably get brighter in the spring, Sanai said. My advice to renters is to take advantage of the deals. And rents in San Francisco seem to be falling as well. According to a report by Realtor.com, the median rent for a one-bedroom apartment in San Francisco has dropped by 24% to 2 to 8.73s a month, and for a two-bedroom apartment, it has fallen by 21% to 39.31 a month compared to last year. But what do you think? Please hit the like button and leave us a comment below. We would love to hear from you. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos when they are released. Please share this video on social media. Thank you for watching.